<laughs> oh my god! I don't wanna have nightmares, you know what I'm saying? I feel like if I watch nukes or any of this other wild shit, I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night and I'm gonna think something there. I'm a reaction channel at the end of the day. I'm gonna react, it's not gonna be good. I don't wanna be on TMZ, you know what I'm saying? So with that being said, today we watching it on uh, uh in the daytime. So we gonna start the video. Um, Top five ghosts caught on camera. Following Top five ghosts. If you're a regular caught on camera, five, then you probably remember Czech ghost hunter ILMN Bono Paranormal. LMN Bottom? What the fuck, man? Don't tell people that shit. Come on, baby. I featured some of his previous terrifying explorations at an abandoned car factory in the past. Car factory? No! Nigga, that looked like we're Slender Man. The first level of Slender Man! No, no way. What are we no. doing? Wait. Some, uh... <laughs> no! 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 The old car no. factory in the city of Ostrava, Czech Republic, has been abandoned for almost 60 years after a large explosion took the lives of several workers. Locals claim that the angry spirits of the deceased workers still haunt the decaying old factory. Do not shit! Oh, fuck that. <laughs> no, no. Oh, no! Run, bitch! his previous exploration, Bono nigga! Terror, But his viewers wanted Shit's to so see Shit's so scary, I lost my accent, so nigga! Reluctantly, ILM and Bono once again returns to the spooky abandoned car factory. No! And this time, even though he's understandably very nervous, no! he promises his new audience that he'll do his best you to went keep back? calm and not run away you from went back! anything. But it turns Why? out that the promise might be a bit hard to keep. What are you this doing? Is... Fuck you mean you I went back, bitch? Check. You think this shit's a game? In this video, I you play Pippin right to... now, nigga! A lot of you hated me for it. Hey, look, uh, I got kids, bro. I can't be in here. I can't be in here. Room. I will try not no. to run away from No, nah, nigga, hey, you, hey, look, hey, you better run. Try and stay calm. Please, hey, look, hey, look, better yet, maybe you should run. But there's what? <laughs> you won't believe me. Put put. You play too much. Got spooked by my hair. Nigga, I got well, spooked by your hair. Shut up, bitch. I'm a real ghost hunter. Shut up, bitch. The nervous ghost hunter actually gets spooked by his own hair, but he laughs it off and continues as he makes his way through dark winding hallways deeper and deeper into the no, abandoned factory. No. No. He starts to get an uneasy feeling that he <laughs> might not be alone. You think? You've the been through this before, stupid! You're killing us! I didn't the door scream. door slams shut somewhere near the frightened ghost hunter. We gonna edit that out. As he to find the source of the loud sound, he finds an open door into a small bathroom area. We gonna edit now, that out. Now what's especially is that the door to the bathroom area had been locked shut earlier. Was it? Making the room inaccessible. Nigga. And now the door is mysteriously open. Nigga. In a later investigation, Bono carefully enters the bathroom area and begins to explore. Nigga. It did not go well. What the f you thought was gonna happen, bitch? Quipper! Hello. Rape. I swear to God, I'll yell. I'll, I will yell. I'll do that. It's not like I get monetized anyway. Please don't. God. Yeah, I know I ain't shit. Jesus, but if you could just not help the no 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 what's it the, 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 what the fuck is that where is it don't where is it ja jsem tu přišel jenom pro leda já jsem chtěl jenom nějaké fotky nigga I ain't seen nothing you gonna talk to it nigga word are you some recently evicted tenant or some shit I just wanted pictures I'm sorry I just was just looking around picking up some mail my bad I rip really nigga did you see it? No, I didn't! When looking into the last bathroom stall, the sight of an unexpected dark figure sends Bono running out into the hallway. No. He assumes that he has stumbled upon a homeless person or some other stranger. Yeah, assumed he was so fucking up! Bono calls out, explaining that he's only there to explore. You about Nothing to get shot! Else. When really? no one answers, Bono carefully walks back toward the stall. Really? Really? Hey! 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 Don't do this to us! I'm oh. in here with you! Take me into consideration! No freaking way. There you think? He's literally no one. Oh no, there's you no one there. 
Later in the investigation, Bono heads to a room in the abandoned car factory which seems to be the most supernaturally active. Bono has caught several frightening unexplained occurrences in this room. This, yeah, this is the room that I, Quit playing. all of you oh, oh, oh. know the story of. Oh, hold on now. Hey, Those, uh, these broken the glass. That's not bad. That's not and bad. This is the closet. I'm scared. I'm Give scared. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm out of here. Oh, you think? You think? Oh, no, no. You think? Yeah. No, 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 no. Now you want to. Now it's different. I know I said. Yeah, you I fucked up. You fucked up. run away, but in this room, especially, this room is really like. Nigga, uh, aggressive. You about to die. The spirits in this room. So you're giving the ghost your I don't cheeks. Want to get hurt. I'm sorry. You're giving them your booty cheeks. Uh, yeah. Uh, so never run your bone booty to... meat, man. Oh. Ah! Hello. Almost immediately, the door of a fridge swings open on its own. Motherfucker. And Bono just leaves. But no matter where Bono <laughs> goes, something seems to be following him. Yeah, they kind of got home field advantage, dummy. You're surrounded. It's over for you. This is as bad as purchasing a ticket onto BHD Airlines. You know you gonna die. <coughs> and I'm still gonna be selling tickets to- <laughs> Okay, that was that wasn't that wasn't what I wanted. That wasn't I don't like that. I don't like that shit. I'm trying to look cool right now. Y'all see me? I'm stroking my chin! I'm stroking my chin! Nope. Run away! Good Lord! I'm, I'm not scared. I'm not, I'm back. I'm not scared. The unexplained activity I'm not scared. only seems to get even more aggressive as Bono explores the abandoned factory. I'm back. It's I'm not scared. It's almost as if something just does not want him there. Y'all see how scared, not scared I am? Bono heads look. down one of the dark hallways of the creepy yep. abandoned building. See me stroke? take yet another terrifying turn motherfucker mother no 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 anyway, i'm not uh, scared i think i'm not scared more room, uh, can you not i don't know what can you just sh can you just go no mom no 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 run away i'm still watching i'm not scared i'm not scared y'all scared i'm not i said i won't did you see it did you see it I said I won't be can we go now Hello? Can you not? Can you not invoke Hello? it? Hit the sound of glass falling to the floor catches Bono's attention, and as he turns around, the same shadow figure he saw earlier wow! seems to be watching him. Wow! This goes petty as shit. You see him leaning in like a meme and shit. Like, man, what type of ghost do this shit? Ah! His courage and walks back to investigate. Courage? This is stupid! No there. Stupid! Bono basically says that he is done. He ends the investigation and leaves the factory. You think? So did Bono capture real ghost activity on camera? Are the ghosts of the workers that passed away inside the factory angry that he has disturbed them? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch Bono's entire six part series at the abandoned car factory over on his YouTube channel, ILMN. Bono Paranormal. Keep fucking up! If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the channel.com, forgotten. Forgotten. Popular Korean ghost hunter Yoon Shuan goes out to exp Man, my armpit's starting to sweat. Uh, not from fear. Let me see. Yeah, I don't smell scary. It's like fear zero. Like Coke zero. It's like fear, but with less explore an abandoned house in the middle of the night. Why? Yoon claims in his YouTube videos that while he does sometimes film at allegedly haunted locations, he never fakes or fabricates any of the creepy activity that he captures in his investigation. This nigga- But just like everyone else- This nigga wearing a National Geographic's member only coat. <laughs> I gotta see that. <laughs> He's wearing a National Geographic's members only jacket. <laughs> activity that he captures in his investigations. But just like everyone else, Yoon Shuan can occasionally get a little spooked. You think? Sometimes by something silly. Hell yeah, I'm jealous. I ain't got no coat. I got what are we doing? Scared the shit out of me. Bro, I thought that was... Oh. 
careful. Yun Shuan completely forgets that he's using a spirit box phone app when suddenly a loud voice from the app warns him, be careful. Yun gets jump scared by his own app and flies into a bit of a rage. Nigga. So, one dark and stormy night, Yun finds himself in a strange house that has- This whole scene looked like the set out of the grudge, bro. All that Chinese background and outside and woods and shit. Hell no. A creepy past. Fuck Locals no. say that the house was built on top of a graveyard. No. And that some of the graves were never moved. Yoon has no idea why the property was abandoned. You think? But he is determined to find out. I'm he not sets scared. up a REM pod EMF detector at the front doorway entrance. And similar to before, Bro coming to get his coat he back. then completely forgets about it. Yeah, this is some insidious looking shit. Oh, this isn't bad, right? Oh, ah! oh, oh, Motherfucker. You dirty son mama bitches! I wasn't scared, I wasn't scared either! I wasn't either! What the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm not, I was not scared. and boldly claims that he's not scared. Not scared but either. soon things become a bit scarier for the ghost hunter. Doesn't matter, it's not gonna scare me. I meditated like a month and a half back. So that's how I know that I'm gonna be good. This ain't even gonna get As me. As he wanders too close to his own rim pod and accidentally sets it off himself. So Yoon decides to use a phone app called Snow that similar to Snapchat can detect faces and then add a filter or mask. And things get a bit creepy. Hold on now. Rape? No. No! What? Excuse me? Okay, I, yeah, let's ignore that one. Yeah, that makes sense. That's some shit out of, out of one of the scary games I used to play on my channel, cuz. Does that look like a, somebody drew a popsicle shape on the window, nigga? No, that wasn't scary. That door is scary. But that jump scare just not, it wasn't, it could have been worse. What's that sound effect? Hold on now. Can you not? I can't stand brave people. I can't stand brave people. Ooh, it's that instrument like off of that one video game we be playing. What's that, Phasmophobia? Nigga, that's the same thing. Does it work in real life? Silent Hill! Don't Silent Hill us! The higher MF reader wants snow detected something. What are you, a Ghostbuster, nigga? Motherfucker! I'm not scared. I'm not scared no more. I've been delivered. I'm not afraid of ghosts. We gonna edit that out, Lord. Can we not? Can we go now? The app on his phone seems to be picking up a face right in front of the closed door. <laughs> when he kicks it open, he discovers an empty room. Not scared. The door then slams shut on its own. Now, this could be explained away as a draft of air blowing the door closed. But what happens next is a little harder to explain. Can you not he show us? He the REM pod right in front of the mysterious closing door and then continues to use the phone face detecting app. What happens next is truly bizarre. Can you not show us? Oh my God, don't do this. Please. Please. Oh, ah! Not scared. Not scared. I see that move. I'm seeing that thing move on the door. I'm not scared. I'm not scared no more. I've been delivered. Jesus prayed, oh, amen. I think. <laughs> I just shit my pants, but the Lord would provide the Lord would provide me with another pair of pants. I've been delivered. I was not scared no more. This chain ain't working at all. No! 
So this is funny. This is funny. This is funny now. Again, the phone app seems to see a face right in front of the door, and this time the REM pod also detects something. Then when the door slams shut, Yun Chuan gets the scare of a lifetime. However, the most terrifying part of his time inside the house is not what he saw or heard. You see, earlier in the night when the REM pod at the front entrance suddenly detects movement, Yoon captures something on camera without even knowing it. Can you not show us? Something downright chilling. Did you see it? Yes. The door to the strange room slowly opens right in front of him and then the REM pod right behind him detects movement. When he turns around, Yoon captures what appears to be a figure outside the house, walking from right to left. Whatever it is seems to only be visible on camera because Yoon just doesn't see it. He only discovered this creepy capture after going back through his footage later. So what do you think? I don't is do this shit. Or is it all just a hoax? As always, you decide. You can check out this full video over on the YouTube channel, Shawan Yoon. No, I never go. Attachment. I'm never gonna go. Ghost Hunting Brothers Josh, Sean, and Rocky no. Foreman from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series were contacted by a family in Bloomington, Indiana, Ooh. who claimed Ooh. that they were experiencing a terrifying and violent haunting inside their home. I'm not scared. The family claims they see the hooded apparition of a man in their bedrooms late at night. Why it gotta be hooded they though? The spirit of a young girl running through their house. Where that but though? That's not all. Why Where that though? The house hey, hey, that's my shit. The family Bosses. hears unexplained talking and banging. During the night, something tugs at their blankets. Word? And they find random unexplained bruises all over their bodies. Ghost men hate fucking them and they sleep. Ha <laughs> ha! Most people have to pay for such a thing. But most terrifying of all, one day the kitchen <laughs> stove gas is turned on without them knowing Word? and left on for hours. Word? Putting the entire family in grave danger. Trying to set them hoes on fire, Homeowner bitch! Ron Hudson believes that all of this strange activity could possibly be caused by the restless spirit of his deceased brother. Okay, my brother passed away. It's been uh, almost eight years ago, but he was cremated. Hey, His what's up, spirit buddy? This goblin. This is the urn type Goblin buddy the, outside. I don't trust that. There's ashes in. I don't after, like that shit. Cremation, so. It's my brother. <laughs> but the idea that it could be Ron Hudson's brother doesn't really explain the violent nature of the haunting. After all that has happened to the family, the mother and daughter, Virginia and G. Marie, believe that the supernatural presence in their home might be something much more sinister. The Foreman brothers stay overnight to investigate the paranormal activity inside the home. During their investigation, they capture unexplained figures on their SLS camera and catch strange voices on their spirit box. This ain't gonna be scary. I don't want this to be scary. Can this not be scary? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? It looks like it's trying to give them top. Go by the bed. Oh, there it is. That thing doesn't look like it's giving up any mouth sex. Are you evil? Huh? Is you sucking dick? And if not... Now all of the evidence that they can capture you? is pretty creepy. But when the three brothers sit down to interview Mom Virginia, they capture something downright terrifying. Mm. And we see shadows a lot. I'm always thinking somebody's behind me. Looked like a shadow went straight through that room over there. Oh, hell no! Those two sitting on the couch, and then you were sitting behind there. So there's nobody else in the house with us. So you pussy so bitch! You see something walk through there. My bad. I can't explain it. An unexplained figure is seen walking behind Virginia in the hallway. Now keep in mind, the entire family and all of the Foreman brothers are sitting in the living room at the time of this recording. There is no one else in the house. 
So just who or what is that? That's Could it be that Ron Hudson is right? Is it his brother walking towards his own death urn? Or could it be something much more dark and sinister? As always, I leave it up to you to decide. Bruh. You can check out this full video and many more great paranormal investigations over on the channel that Paranormal wasn't even, Nightmare That wasn't TV even that series. bad. Grave. That wasn't even that bad. Paranormal YouTuber and Facebook live streamer El Payaso de la Toledo sets out to investigate the allegedly haunted Los Mochis Cemetery in Mexico. He's joined by his friends and fellow video creators Lorena Jacobo Ugh, God and damn, that bitch Blogs. Ugly. The investigators head to That's a huge bitch! <laughs> and Moonra Vlogs. The that investigators nigga homeless. head to the graveyard to investigate the alleged paranormal sightings of the quote, Lady in the White Jacket. A local- This looks like a group of just really, really homeless people. None of them have look like they have day jobs. Paranormal legend of a ghost woman who is said to walk the cemetery. However, once the group begins their investigation and invites the spirits of the old cemetery to show themselves, they don't see the lady in the white jacket. Oh, dude, I thought her hair was fake. Okay, she, she still built like a minivan, though. I, I, I'm i horrible at driving minivans. But it's not unless they, they give me money. An entirely different spirit in the Los Mochis Cemetery. El Payaso de la Toledo broadcast the entire investigation live to his Facebook page as the three friends witness something absolutely terrifying. Bro, this one minivan built female, she sent me $1,500. You know, just, just to look at her nudes, you know what I'm saying? But then later on, she tried to tell people that I was harassing her. But I'm like, bitch, you paid me $1,500, $1,500 to, to harass you or look at your nudes. What is he talking about? Is he doing, we want to know if you're close to us. Let us know if you're here. My Mexican accent is terrible. Nigga, what? Yo, ghost, jump this nigga. Yeah. That's what you get. That's what you get. Get him, babies. Get him. Get him, babies. Jump him. See, it's a niño, we. Investigator Munra Vlogs blows air into his hand to make some sort of call, possibly to create energy for the spirits to use to manifest themselves. And that's when the figure of a small pale child can be seen running across the cemetery path. The creepy apparition disappears behind the gravestones. Now keep in mind that this is all being streamed live as the team immediately goes looking for the mysterious child. And that's when things get even stranger. It gets worse? En donde estas? Como estas, mi amigo? Portobello mushrooms, tres leches, and Taco Bell Doritos Supreme Locos Tacos. <laughs> what the, what was that? Escucho? Sí, se escucho. Oh, Está llorando. No, man. Potando. Niño. Ay, no mames, we. Did he just call for his mother? He's crying. He's crying, payaso. Anda un niño aquí. Hoy. Sí. No, eso me recuerda como como que abrieron una reja o o una puerta, güey. Anda un niño por aquí. I am screaming. No se le perdería. ¿Alguien es el niño? When calling out to the child, the three investigators hear unexplained cries and laughter. They have no idea why a child would possibly be in the graveyard this late at night, and they continue searching out of concern for the child. But when it becomes clear that there is no one else in the cemetery, they start to believe that they might have witnessed an actual child spirit. They change tactics and start to ask the spirit to once again appear before their eyes. Queremos verte de nuevo. No, we don't. Queremos escucharte. Ah, 
Uy, uf, culé. Aquí el otro, ¿no, compa? ¿Le estás hablando? ¿Dónde estás? ¡Ándolo a ver! ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué fue? ¿Algo pasó? Sí. Sí, algo pasó, compa. ¿Qué fue? Yeah, y'all surrounded, bro. Surrounded, car. Mira, mira. ¡Ah! Aquí corrió algo. I saw some. I heard something. I don't trust this shit. ¿En dónde estás? Ven de aquí. ¿Por qué? Vámonos a ver. Mira, mira, mira. ¿Por qué? What the hell? Si es un niño, güey. Si es un niño, si es un niño. Si es un niño, güey. Si es un niño. What? I don't see any kids. Amigos. Si es un niño, güey. Si es un niño. Por aquí pasó, güey. Si es un niño, si es un niño. A ver, güey. Strange sounds seem to surround the three investigators, and again, the figure of a small child runs across the cemetery path, disappearing amongst the gravestones. The team runs to find the child, but there's no one there. The mysterious child seems to have disappeared into thin air. So did Mexican ghost hunter El Payaso de la Toledo and his friends Lorena Jacobo and Munra Vlogs capture the ghost of a restless child playing amongst the tombstones? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Possibly a combination of the two. Unholy. That wasn't Urban really scary. Explorer Christopher Hill from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill is back on another exploration to a new abandoned location. Hell no. This time he explores the first Hungarian reformed church in Cleveland, Ohio. Built oh, in 1904, no. the church was in use for almost 100 years before it was abandoned in 2003. It has sat empty for almost 18 years, but vandalism and the elements have taken their toll on the old church. It now exists in a severe state of decay. Christopher records as he explores the church grounds, finding an old piano and a broken down electric organ. As he plays around with the dead keys of the old organ, the explorer captures something very creepy and unexpected on camera. No, I don't want to see it. Up in this church, shit is broken down, almost tall like it be lurch. I'm gonna steal a purse, ho best to have the money. I don't wanna see, I don't want a ghost to show up, bruh, that shit ain't funny. Bruh, this ghost a dummy, playing on piano, bruh, he ain't running from me. Hopefully he ain't on bullshit and come for me. Oh shit, what the fuck is that sound effect? What's that? Ho, ho. No, 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 no. No, no. Oh, time to run. Ain't playing with this bullshit. Ain't playing this bullshit. When ghosts That's come crazy. at me, it's not fun. I'm getting out this bitch and I'm gonna oh, leave man. everyone. Oh, I don't trust none of this. Ooh, ah! Oh, fuck that. I'm leaving out this bitch now. I don't trust it. Fuck that, bro. Get out! Get out! Get out, nigga! The oh, keys snap. of the broken electric organ make no sound, but suddenly the piano across the room blasts out a note, as if something mm -hmm. unseen slammed down what, on one stop? of its keys. Yeah, we got the pizza is coming. shocked and makes his way over to the piano to check it out, but he finds nothing out of the ordinary. Then a chair suddenly tips over by itself, The urban explorer has had enough and decides to just get out of there. As he makes a quick exit, we can hear the loud, unexplained sounds of unknown objects crashing to the floor right behind him. Hell no, man. That is some bull shit. Debbie Morales and her friends are tubing down the canals of the Isabella River in Puerto Rico when she begins to record with her phone. Debbie can be heard screaming and laughing until her camera catches something in the water that quickly makes her lose her voice. Oh! Oh, shit! 
Abby posted the video to Facebook saying that she saw a scary apparition in the water. Damn, damn, damn! She to take a look and see if they Mega. saw the same thing in the video. It looked like and it's coming did. for the boat! Online viewers speculated that the image could be anything from the ghost of a drowning victim to a body in the water. And some even went so far as to suggest that it might be a mermaid. Hmm. Now the most... Oh, yeah, fuck that. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Lacey Nicole is a theater teacher at Sarasota High School in Florida. Lacey says that there have always been stories about the ghost of, quote, Shannon, a Victorian what the hell is woman who is said to haunt the high school's theater. Back in 2007, during a high Hi. school production of Beauty hey, and the Beast, up, many believed that Shannon the ghost made a very unexpected appearance, and it was all captured on camera. How much is a donation? I don't know, Romaine. Um... Oh, shit, they fucking? Yeah, bone this hole. Ooh. What the fuck? What? What the fuck is that? Oh my god. Terrifying. The unexplained apparition of a woman in a flowing white dress can be seen floating eight to ten feet above the stage. Oh hell no. Now it should be noted that this was in no way a part of the play. So could this be the spirit of Shannon, the Victorian era ghost that haunts the theater? Let me know what you think. TikTok user It's I C claims that his friends captured something very strange on their outdoor security camera. You want me to play it? Just right yes, right hey now. Wilson! What's up? So. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Is that an alien penis that can fly? It's like an alien penis! What the, what the fuck, fuck is that? Dude? So weird. A strange figure seems to walk across the street Motherfucker. and then just seems to float up into the sky. Motherfucker. Even weirder, then another large dark shadow seems Nigga. to fly above the houses and disappear. Now, as always, I'm going to let you decide just what this could be because, no. well, I frankly have no idea what this nope. is. Could it be something paranormal? Or if you have a more logical explanation, Please let me know. Yeah, I don't trust that shit. I don't trust that shit at all. Damn that. Paranormal Matt. nightmare. Paranormal nightmare. Ten nightmare. years ago, paranormal investigators and brothers Josh, Sean, and Rocky Foreman from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare TV series went out to investigate the allegedly haunted Sullivan Johnson Museum in Hardin County, Ohio. Built in 1896, the elegant three-story museum was once the private home of the Sullivan family, who lived there for over 80 years. It is said that the ghosts of several members of the Sullivan family still wander the haunted halls of the museum to this day. The Foreman brothers attempt to make contact with any spirit that might inhabit the building. Their EVP recorder captures some strange and disturbing messages. We mean you no harm. Like I said, we're just here doing an investigation. Hell no! Are you in here? But that's not all that the investigators capture at the Sullivan Johnson Museum. When they head down into the basement, they see something downright chilling. Who? Who? What? Anybody down here? Ah! Did you see that? Yeah. Okay. Time to go. Mother. Did you see it? No, As I didn't. The brothers turn a corner. They almost walk right into what appears to be the small, dark apparition of a child, <laughs> and its face just does not look quite human. But what do you think this bizarre figure could be? 
Man, that goes a ghost of a really ashy nigga, bro. His face is as white as baby powder. <laughs> Could it just be a very odd trick of the light? Let me know down in the comments. You can watch many more amazing and creepy paranormal investigations over on the YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV Series. Faces as white as snow. Anybody down here? Oh my God! Jesus Christ. If you see a video that you think would be it went viral in the Philippines and hundreds of Nukes Top 5 viewers were nice enough to send it in to me. So it definitely deserves a spot in this week's Top 5. So, late one night a security guard from Davo de Oro, Philippines is patrolling a university campus. Dang bro, yeah alone. I know bitch! Suddenly bizarre and unexplained things Yo, begin chat, to man. happen. They, they, they and the frightened guard takes out his phone and starts recording the terrifying paranormal activity. Hey what's up Godfrey? Uh, Welcome to my YouTube channel. So, so I'm gonna switch to sauce guy. That's what's up. I'll watch saucy. So, check nothing, yung mga. Hey, yo, that's scary. Is, Snow White, bro, for real. Uh, bro, what check are they doing? At least we ain't inside. Inside, way scarier. So, I think what is this? Uh, 12, 12, 17. So, yeah, Ayan guys, yung trabaho ko, sobrang nilim. So, ayan, masukin natin yan. Uh, handahan. Ayan. So, nakabahan ako guys. Anong gagawin ko? So, run! You don't hear that crying in the background? You better run, ho! Run, bitch! Get up out of that shit, bitch! You wanna check it out? Nigga! Nigga! Nigga, don't! Mexicans, don't! What the fuck is that sound? No electric fan side to us. What's that sound, bro? I think there's something weird going on. You think? Do you think? What's that sound? What's that sound? It's the chairs! It's the chairs! Nigga, repeat! Pimp down! Pimp 32! Pimp in distress! Retreat, my nigga! Black Hawk down! Retreat! Nigga, if you go in there, I will be I will fight you myself! Somebody fight this nigga! It's doing it, nigga! 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 Get out! Why are you still there? Ito yung trabaho ko, guys. Grabe. Ka! Nakakatakot, guys. Ka! Ka, don't! Hindi nang balahibo ko. Ah! Look, I can't do this. I can't do this. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Kita nyo naman, guys, yung... I'm not scared. I just my heart hurts. Why? Why? Why are you testing this ghost gangster? At least they still got air conditioning. Now you wanna run! Now you wanna run! A door opens and slams shut. Ceiling fans turn on by themselves. He ain't shit! And most horrifying of all, classroom chairs slide across the floor in all directions. So could it be that this university in the Philippines is haunted? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? Nigga ain't you shit! You go, you go check it out!
popular oh, urban explorer. I'm going to look around. I'm going to go over and look. I'm, a, I'm brave. I'm exploring a... another creepy abandoned location in his home state of Ohio. This time, he travels to the Molly Stark Sanatorium, a beautiful, sprawling hospital built in the 1920s for patients suffering from tuberculosis. Many of Bro. the hospital patients did not survive their stay and that passed was... away from their terrible illness inside these Is that shit on the bed? hospital walls. In 1995, the sanatorium was closed for good and the structure was left abandoned. The hospital was said to be extremely haunted by the ghosts of past patients. Despite the spooky stories and legends, Chris Hill is intent on exploring the historic building and makes his way inside. Chris soon begins to feel like he might not be alone inside the old building. I don't do this. I don't do this. Can we not? I'm not scared. Chris quickly turns off his light as he believes he hears someone nearby. I'm not but scared. He dismisses the sound as potentially just his imagination and continues on exploring. I'm Deep not scared. In the basement of the sanatorium, he finds a winding concrete tunnel system. Again, the urban explorer hears something. These tunnels are creepy as f I'm not scared. Chris is exploring all alone when he hears the last thing that you want to hear when you're down in dark tunnels beneath an allegedly haunted sanatorium. Footsteps in the dark. Now a bit freaked out, he nevertheless decides to continue through the- Look, I'll dance when I'm frightened, okay? I, I will admit that. That's part of being black. Sometimes if I'm scared enough, if I get too scared, I'll even rap or dance, which is what's happening now. I, I'll admit it. Tunnel. That's when things take a terrifying turn. Turn, turn. What the fuck is turn? Turn. Drake, nigga, 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 nigga. Help! Help! It's Satan's anus. It is crazy. There's somebody. It's Satan's anus! There's somebody down here. No! Oh man, Satan need to clean his ass. Satan ass, dirty as shit. That's a thing! That's a thing! I thought that was a person. I'm I'm my bad. I thought that was a whole person. Why would you go all the way down here, bro? This is dumb. Oh my God. What? What the f What? Is that poop? Oh, body. Better move a little bit faster than that. To the ground. This is crazy. Hell no. When the footage is brightened, we can see that something seems to be coming towards Chris, but then suddenly disappears. But most horrifying of all, Chris follows and discovers that the tunnel is a dead end, and whoever or whatever he saw had no place to go. That's the explorer is now creeped out and has had enough of the spooky sanatorium. It's wet in there. It's but very wet in there. he tries to find his way back out of no the homo. tunnels, this happens. I would appreciate it if they didn't show up. Is. A light died. Uh, nah, this is some bullshit. I'm using a fucking cell phone light. Uh, I'm not scared. 
I was not scared no more. I've been delivered. What the f How is it not working? As Chris is frantically searching for an exit from the dark tunnels, Chris's camera light dies at the worst possible time, even though the battery was fully charged. So with only the dim light from his cell phone to guide him, he finally manages to find his way back out. So did Chris capture the apparition of one of the hospital's deceased patients roaming the dark underground tunnels? Let me know what you think. That. You can watch this full two-part exploration and many more videos of abandoned historic locations over on the YouTube channel, Urbex Hill. The Haunting of Eric Gunner. Popular YouTuber Eric Gunner claims that he has had some terrifying paranormal encounters at his home in Mexico. Eric recently purchased and moved into a new home. Bizarrely enough, the woman who previously owned the house left most of her belongings behind. Eric says he has no idea what happened to the woman, but he also says that he didn't really ask many questions because he got the house at a very good price. But soon after moving in, Eric is awakened one night by strange sounds coming from downstairs. He's worried that someone might have broken into the house, and to make matters worse, the power is out and he can't seem to get a signal on his phone. He I don't know. Eric doesn't notice, but as he descends the staircase, the voice of a woman can be heard saying atras, or in English, back, or perhaps go back. Oh no. <laughs> yeah! And then when he heads back up the stairs, the same voice seems to say subi, or go up. Then his blood runs cold because as he looks toward the end of the hallway, he sees someone staring back at him. Now very freaked out, he reluctantly goes over to investigate. But there's no one there. No! A month later, and Eric is awakened in the middle of the night again, this time from the sound of someone knocking on his bedroom door. La verdad, si pienso mucho en si bajar o no, porque. Good plan. No. I do not want to see nothing. Get ready. Ah! Fight! Fight it! Whoever! There's no one here? I don't do this. No, 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 no! No! Hey, look, first off, what the f is this? What's this mask doing here? What the f you got the mask of one of the scariest memes on the internet, foe? You trying to get haunted? You're killing us! Motherfucker. Oh my god, we're not scared. We're not scared! Why are we doing this to us? Why are we doing this to us? Oh, no! 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 Whoa! 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 No! No! Blair Witch Project! Y aquí hay otro cuarto. Ya vieron. Another room. Don't see the other room, bro. Let's get the fuck out of here, bitch. Okay. I'm not scared. Bueno, ya vimos. Ya vamos para abajo.
No, no sea, de verdad que yo no, no entiendo por qué está pasando esto. Muchos me decían que no, que es que había sido por lo de la chica esta de todo lo que había pasado. Escuché un ruido allá. Eric hears a sound coming from the attic, and when he looks up, he sees a horrific, distorted face staring back at him. Terrified, Eric runs and hides in his bedroom, and he stays there for the rest of the night. Eric later discovers that his pet parakeet passed away inside its cage that very night. And so, he now fears for the life of his little dog. He decides to just pack up his stuff and move out of the house for good. You can check out more of Eric Gunner's strange encounters over on his YouTube channel, Full God Gunner. Damn! Thanks for watching, please. Yep, damn that, people. Damn that straight to somewhere else. We don't do that shit. The unexplainable exploration. I'm not scared. Now, as with most Japanese videos, the source of this next recording is unknown. But in the footage, we see a guy exploring an abandoned building somewhere in Japan. He quickly realizes that he's made a huge mistake. You think? He encounters something truly terrifying. Can you not show us? I don't want to see this shit. Help. Somebody need to be washing their ass for that bitch, man. There's, everything is over there. Damn, this place dirty. I talk when I'm scared. Please, God. Please, God. Don't do this to us. The BSD army don't deserve this. I, I don't I don't like this now. Really not liking this right now. Alright, the music is soothing. The music makes me think bad stuff isn't gonna happen. But I know it is. It's coming. And no one's wearing a condom. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. That's someone hanging. It's a whole dead body. And it's still there. Well, might as well check the body for warmth and see if it's a female. That way we know if we can have sex with it or not. Ah! The explorer is frozen in fear as he sees a woman strangely swaying back and forth in a room. He repeatedly and carefully peeks around the door at the woman when suddenly she appears much closer and seems to just charge at him. Understandably, he runs for his life. Now at first, whoever this woman is appears to be a very strange and very real person. Damn but when that. we take a closer look at the footage, we can see that the woman actually emerges right out of a solid wall. But is it real? Or is it just a very creepy hoax? Yeah, Again, I'm not willing to question the validity of that. The Ghosts Nigga. of the River Inn. In its day, the River Inn in Reno, Nevada was jump? a popular no. spot for the elite of Nevada to rest and bathe in its natural hot springs. For decades, the River Inn thrived as a popular resort, but underneath its happy facade, there were many dark tales of drownings, murder, and Nigga. mysterious disappearances. Just waiting. It is like, said that we... the Mafia had a financial stake in the Nigga. River Inn and that Nigga. anyone who had a so, quote, hey, you know, accident at the River Inn, we well, let you pet they us? just seemed to disappear. Bruh. The River Inn closed its doors under mysterious circumstances I didn't around jump at all, 1983 guys. and was left know. abandoned. Cut to 2022, mm -hmm. and today the old River Inn has new owners, Dana and Lawrence. What? During their stay at the inn, both the owners and Bruh. their workers have experienced you terrifying supernatural activity. Paranormal oh investigators God, Ryan, bad. River, Nick, and Wyatt from the YouTube channel yeah. Twin Paranormal are invited to investigate the yeah. allegedly haunted River Inn. At the end, the team is told the story of a man named Ray who was a long-term resident and caretaker of the hotel along with his wife, Janet. The couple lived happily at the inn for many years until Ray tragically passed away in his room kids, guys. from I don't have any extra poisoning. You know, Just plus dogs don't eat death, pizza. Ray's wife, Janet, swore that she saw her loving husband on the hotel property. The team heads inside to explore the ground floor of the hotel where Ray and Janet used to live. Ray, if this is you, please give us a sign. Hey, it's 6 9 Takashi. Is he snitching? What the f? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? I did catch the EMF? What? The EMF just went crazy. Yeah, I heard it. Ray, are you in here? You good? Uh, There's no one in there. Whoa! Whoa, whoa the whoa. F was that? Is there someone in there? What the f was that? You're kidding. You're kidding. 
Hello? Hang on. That just scared the crap out of me. That was right behind me. The guys decide to head upstairs to the second floor in hopes of making contact with the spirits of Ray and Janet. But what happens next is downright chilling. But now I Did you just f***ing hear that? What? Were you f***ing me? What? what was that? I so hope I caught it. What? I swear to God I just heard a woman go, okay. You're okay. okay. I'm not even I heard me. shuffling after it. Okay. But now I Did you just hear that? I heard that shit. I hear whistling. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey! You okay? What was that? You okay? I sure just had someone whisper right there next to me. Dude. Yeah. Are you okay? Holy sh! Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Where was it? Right here. I heard that. I'm telling you, someone. Yeah, oh. yeah. Whoa, whoa. What was someone that? was talking, dude. I heard that. Do you not want us in here? You think? Where, no bitch? Harm. I totally heard that. Shit. I'm shaking so bad right now. Easy. Easy. Oh, Easy. Shit. I heard Easy. a thump. You're Holy. Good. Shit. You're good. Just breathe. What kind of whisper did you hear? In I, don't, like, I don't. Any words? Know exactly what it said. Maybe this caught it, but I'm, I'm being scared to be right here, man. No, I'm with you. I straight heard a, a, a lady go. Okay, okay, look. When I'm leaning up here, okay, I had my ear right here, right, facing this way. Okay. And I heard it, like someone just say something to me. Again? Again! Hey! Again! Guys! Again! Did you not just hear that? Yes, I Please did. Tell I me. heard that. I heard that one. Who is that? What are you trying to say? The voice of a woman can be heard saying, Okay. Then River hears someone whispering and gasping in his ear. Again? Again! Hey! Again! Guys! But the guys have no idea what they are about to capture as they decide to use the spirit box to get more answers. A static camera recording downstairs films something shocking. Can you tell us where we are? Where are we? Oh my god, that, that was, was right good. below. I don't see shit. Oh my god, that, that was good. right Okay, below. I see that. Are you downstairs? I am. Yeah. I, I am. 100%. Do you want us to go back down there? A dark, translucent hand clutches at the doorframe of one of the downstairs hotel rooms. Meanwhile, Ryan hears a noise from below and asks if the entity that they are talking to is downstairs. The spirit box answers, I am. So did the guys capture the ghost of Ray on camera? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation of the historic River Inn over on the YouTube channel, Twin Paranormal. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Unconfined. This next video was sent in by a Nukes Top 5 viewer who wishes to remain anonymous. He explains in his email that he works as a corrections officer at a federal prison in Kentucky that holds over 700 inmates that are kept in lockdown 24-7. But late one night at around 4 a.m., a hallway security camera starts to capture movement in one of the hallways. He takes out his phone and begins to record the CCTV feed. Fred, there's no f***ing doors opening. You can't even see it. Now watch, look. And he wasn't even back there. Where was he at? He was at 531. He was up. Like, no doors are open. You can't see land room. And then, boom. The officer and his co-workers have no idea who or what this could be, as no one could have been standing in that hallway. At the time, the other guard on duty was far away in an entirely different part of the prison. So, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. An unholy attachment.
Now these next videos were shared to the internet by Diego Spikers, who might seem familiar to you as I featured him once before. Diego claims that he recently moved into a new apartment in Colombia with his wife and has experienced terrifying activity ever since. What the fuck? What is that? What? Since that time, Diego made the shocking discovery that he had a sister named Maria who died at a very young age. He believes that this could be the spirit that is haunting him. Also recently, Diego's niece Amy has come to live with him and his wife. Unfortunately, the paranormal presence seems to have attached itself to little Amy. <laughs> You're joking, bro. You're joking. I am not scared. What the fuck is that? Maria. You're j Come on! Amy. Amy is fast asleep in bed when a childlike figure can be seen standing on her bed. When Diego yanks at the sheet, it vanishes into thin air. Only a few days later, in the middle of the night, Diego hears strange childlike laughter coming from his living room. When he goes to investigate, he is shocked to his core. <laughs> Amy. What? Amy. What the fuck? Amy. Nigga! Amy. Man, you better hit that little Amy bitch. Amy appears to be asleep, sitting with her back to the TV stand. But two pale, skinny arms seem to be reaching out from the TV cabinet and playing with her hair. The hands quickly disappear when Diego approaches his niece and attempts to wake her. Diego says that Amy has no recollection of what happened, but he is fearful that the activity in his home is becoming more intense every day. But what do you think? Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Brothers Keeper. Absolutely Paranormal not. investigators Victor, Paolo, and Samuel from the YouTube channel Investigaso Sobrenatural are contacted by a distraught woman. She claims she's been violently haunted since her brother passed away from an accidental overdose in the bathroom of her family home in Brazil. She believes that her brother never left and that his tormented soul is angry and is attacking her and her family. The woman whose identity is kept anonymous says that she believes that the stress of the haunting led to her mother's recent passing. Uh -huh. Soon after their arrival, the investigators begin to witness the violent poltergeist activity for themselves. Olha, o, pelo que eu entendi, né? Seu irmão tá fazendo manifestação aqui, o clima tá muito pesado. Não precisa chorar, fica calmo, fica tranquilo, tá bom? Olha, vai ficar tudo bem. É, você falou que seu irmão morreu aqui nessa casa, né? tiraram a vida dele dentro de um banheiro. Tem como mostrar onde foi esse banheiro? Só aqui no banheiro ali. Esse aqui, né? Ele já começou. Por favor, meu irmão morreu. Como você vai me deixar em paz? Calma, calma. Meu Deus, cara. Calma, calma. Respira fundo. Respira fundo, respira fundo, calm. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna need way more than, than calm breaths to calm down a masculine female. I usually tell females to shut the fuck up. That usually gets them to calm down pretty good. Ó, oh, ele só quer assustar, entendeu? Só quer te, te deixar desequilibrado, entendeu? Quer fazer com que a gente fique assustado, entendeu? Nervoso. Respira fundo, fica calmo, entendeu? Pense em Deus, pense em coisas boas, tá bom? Yeah, she's gonna need sex to calm down. I got her back. Give me about an hour and a half with her. She'll be shutting the fuck up then. Tá bom, respira o fundo. A gente tá aqui contigo. Isso, calma. Viu? Ele só quer tentar assustar a gente. É só um, um, mais um desequilibrado, só isso, tá certo? Você tem condições de continuar? É. Porque é importante. Tem, não tem? Pronto. 
é, me mostra como foi que o seu irmão faleceu. Calma, calma. Calma, calma. Pera. Calma, fica calma. O espelho quebrou sozinho. Meu Deus. Tá ligado, bala? Vai, filma aí. Please, God, don't scare me. Meu Deus. Respira, respira, respira. Ó, vai ficar tudo bem, tá? Mas fala aí, Pitu, pegar a cadeira. Pensa em coisas boas, coisas positivas, né? Foca em Deus. Olha, olha, olha pra mim. Olha pra mim. Olha yeah, pra she's mim. dying, man. She's gonna Pensa need sex. Boas, tá bom? Central. We have to get her in the room so that I can give her emergency mouth to breast resuscitation. Penis to vagina resuscitation. It's the only thing that'll save her. Vai, senta aqui. Vem. Não, não, não. Senta. Não. Oh. Olha, olha pra mim. See, at this point, I ought to pull out my penis and let her stroke it to make her feel more calm. She's got to stare directly into it too. She's like it makes it soother. This is for her, you know? You guys aren't good people if you're not willing to let a scared female stroke your penis until she feels better. It's meditative and nothing else. Calm, calm, respira, respira. <laughs> Kitchen plates fall and cookware begins to shake. Then when the woman points out where the bathroom is, something appears to almost punch at her through the curtain. A mirror in the bathroom breaks into pieces. But when they check the room, there's no one there. The woman becomes so upset from the incident that the investigators decide to have her leave. Now, in an attempt to calm the Busy, angry the spirit, the men gather <laughs> Thank around you, the table where the man's body was temporarily placed before his burial. They light candles on the table and begin to discuss the situation. Oh my But god. Then things just get weirder. Weirder than they already were? Don't fuck this up. I'm not scared. Wasn't scared. Never scared. The door slams open and the team's cameraman no. drops to the floor from an extreme panic no. attack. The Never scared! After him and after a necessary break, they continue their investigation. In an attempt to calmly communicate with the aggressive spirit, investigator Paolo volunteers to lie down on the table in hopes of creating a connection with the spirit. Aí, tu tem certeza que quer fazer isso? Já quero ver, né? Tô curioso porque eu quero, né? Eu quero que ele consiga é, entender é, qual é o nosso objetivo, né? Porque a gente está aqui, entendeu? Porque na, na mente dele, ele acha que a gente está... Show your pussy, bitch! Né? I'm talking to the ghost, ele not the dudes. Ele tem a oportunidade, né? De baixar a vibração e tentar a comunicação, né? Pelo menos uma comunicação mais amigável, né? As Paolo is explaining his intention, what looks like a ghostly apparition seems to appear behind team member Victor. Oh, hell no. No! 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 Paolo lies down on the table, and what happens next is downright terrifying. Do Paulo, pode se, se, Paul. se apresentar aqui, né? Concentre sua energia. Quiser pegar no, no, no braço do Paulo, na perna dele, no pescoço do Paulo, né? Vai, Paulo, fica à vontade. Se concentra. Tenta pegar no pescoço do Paulo. Ah, that thing was a fast, nigga. Meu Deus do céu. Olha, olha, olha. Só special effects. This is after effects. 
They did this with Adobe Premiere. You can tell. Yeah, I mean, that's, 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 that's the string and some dental floss. Você não vai assustar a gente. Você não vai assustar a gente. Tá querendo desafiar. Acho que ele pensa que a gente quer bater de frente com ele. Tô me tremendo todo dia, cara. Olha isso, ó. Kinky, I know, punch. Very kinky. Drawers from a cabinet violently slam open and closed on their own. Now the previously fearless ghost investigators seem to get just a little bit rattled by the extreme activity. They are completely unsure how to continue. And not long after this incident, they decide to leave the property. So what do you think is going on in this family home in Brazil? I hope they at least ran a train, I mean, uh, um, talked to the girl to make sure she was okay before they left, you know? Uh... <laughs> could this really be the brother's spirit lashing out at his own family for I the want great a beyond? Or could there be I something want a, pet a bear. more sinister <laughs> in this house? Bear, it's bear baiting! Down in the if you say bear backing, they're gonna know exactly what time of timing you're on. But just if you say bear baiting, it walks that thin line between the one happy place and the other less happy, happy place. It, it walks the line of the gooch of the joke. Bear baiting, it's, it's, it sounds nasty, but it couldn't, it could not be. You never know. Comments. <laughs> the Ohio Ghost Girl. <laughs> Multiple residents of Mentor, Ohio have reported seeing what appears to be an all-white apparition of a young girl running at a very fast speed. Oh, hell the no. The following video was recorded late at night just outside Bellflower Elementary School. Don't show us, nigga. Oh. Ah, oh, damn, bitch. Now, what hey, makes this story especially home. bizarre is that so many residents reported seeing this running girl that multiple police units were sent out to search the area even though there were no reports of any missing children in the area at the time. Hey, go home! One police officer says that he actually saw the running girl. In his police report, he says, quote, I was surprised by what I saw. The person appeared to be a small child, but running rather erect and too quickly for a child, unquote. The officer then says that he pursued the running girl, but she seemed to disappear into thin air. Police checked the entire area, but no girl Bruh. was ever found. Y'all caught me on tape, man, giving my mom money. I don't know why I don't like to admit it. You know what I mean? That I be taking care of like a lot of people. A night Very of fast. terror. You? Juan and his pregnant wife, Nicole, said that they recently experienced the most terrifying night of their lives. Ah, damn, you a got a bad bitch. they say changed Ooh. them forever. Shit. The couple who live in Ecuador are getting ready for bed when things take a terrifying turn. Okay, what happens? How can it be horrifying? Okay, everything was very quiet, barely turned off the lights and... So you felt something on her back. Oh! Oh! Baby, quick, uh, to take off your clothes. Everyone knows the only way to, to spell a ghost is, is very violent sex. It's the only way, you know? Ghosts hate, hate fucking. But see, he's trying to get, he's trying to, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he's, he, you know, he's doing it for her. Take your clothes off and chill. I'm going to go check. I come back, pussy better be out. Look, I'm going to be right back. Just take it, run it, okay? Um, <laughs> so you pussy bitch, oh my God. Hold up, man, you better fight back. You can fuck that, no, I'm not my bitch. You ain't about to hit my bitch, nigga. What the fuck? I'll fight a ghost, bro. You ain't gonna touch my female, bro. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck what you is. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Hey, oh, hell. Yeah, he was right for running. He was right for running. I'd have got out of that. I talk tough because I'm on camera, bro. I'd have got out of that. Fuck that. Damn that. Hey, you better get your shit. Hey, you got it. You got it. Good shit, bro. Oh, shit. He's getting pushed back in. Oh, get your bitch, nigga. Bro, protect your female. Nigga better get your bitch out of the fucking house. Come on, bro. Baby, don't even trip, nigga. This nigga soft, bro. This ghost hella soft. That nigga ain't gonna do shit. 
Why? You gonna break my TV, bitch? You gonna break my TV? Hey, you better get your bitch, nigga. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, he getting cheeks tonight. Ah, he's fucking the night, baby. Ah, go. Because if she dies, how y'all gonna have sex again? Like, that's real. You gotta protect your female. Because if she die, like, where else are you gonna put it at? That's your hole. People be calling females they holes. That's not right. You gotta call them your holes. This is your hole, right? That's your hole you fucking with right now. Damn it. We fight for that shit. Shit. <laughs> she ain't loyal. Nigga. I mean, it really don't matter if a chick is loyal or not, bro. Like... Ooh. Oh, oh shit. That is pissed. Don't I got sponsorships? No. Out of nowhere, the couple's blanket is yanked away by something they can't see. The couple is terrified and jump out of bed and things only get worse. Juan and Nicole both appear to be physically shoved and thrown around by something that they can't see. Ooh. And as they make a run for the door, objects, furniture, and appliances move and fall without explanation. Damn. At the end of the video, Nicole seems to be in such distress that her husband has to carry her out the door. Oh, damn. Now, that's his wife? I would have left that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> with any alleged paranormal video, this recording could very well be a hoax. But if the objects in the video were being moved with wires, it seems that it would be almost impossible as so many things in the room are moving. Also, Juan walks through the bedroom many times, and he doesn't seem to be carefully avoiding any wires or strings. So, Is she pregnant or was he just checking on the pussy? <laughs> Because you can tell by how it sounds. I... Is it real? Or is it all just a very elaborate hoax? Very elaborate. You decide. What the fuck is that at the end of the hall? Oh, I'm freaking out. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no! Run, bitch! A shadow appears to move from left to right in a doorway. <laughs> Sierra doesn't notice the odd shadow figure, but seems to get a strange feeling as she comments that she is, quote, freaking out. Now, whether this is a paranormal event or just a very strange trick of the light, a man who was doing some late fishing off the coast of Brazil That's claims that some fishing. strange sea creature with glowing eyes tried to attack his boat. He fled, revving his boat to full speed, but the creature pursued him. You said, whoa! Ah! That's a seal? Is that a seal? Can that be a seal? What the, is that a seal? No! That's gotta be a seal, right? That better not be a ghost. That better not be a ghost. Bro. What the fuck is that? Tell me that's a seal. What the fuck? Oh. What? Yo ass better go back to land, nigga. Oh my god. What 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 is that? That's a seal, right? <laughs> now some online video viewers were shocked by what they saw. They believe the beast was obviously a ferocious sea creature, but other viewers thought that the animal could simply be a large dolphin or maybe a seal. So just what do you think this large thing is? Look at that's a seal! Ain't it? The Is that a seal? Italian paranormal investigation team in Quieto TV traveled to what was once the dormitory of an old abandoned brick factory. These niggas was reaching. The story goes that the workers at the brick factory were exploited by the wealthy owner for years and worked in extremely dangerous conditions. Exploited my ass, nigga. You know what? Go somewhere else and work there and shit. See how much they pay you. <laughs> Until one day, they decided to form a workers' union and rebel against the rich factory owner. Yeah, we'll get fired then, bitch. Our perhaps not so mysteriously, all of the workers who joined the union suddenly disappeared, never to be seen again. Many believed that the workers union members met a terrible fate. 
but no evidence was ever found. Former factory workers and local townspeople believe that the Brick Factory dormitory is haunted by the workers' tormented souls. Inquieto TV explores the old building, but other than- well, I'm calling these people workers, nigga, they're ungrateful bastards, bro. That's what shitty employees are, ungrateful bastards. And I say that because I used to be an ungrateful bastard. I used to have jobs and I would always be late and I would always do as little as possible to get my paycheck. So I knew a lot of the tendencies of shitty niggas, but I thought when I was giving people opportunities that they wouldn't do the same thing to me. <laughs> don't hire your friends and family, guys. <laughs> they don't want to work. They just would like a little bit of money. Don't do it. Then some creepy, unexplained sounds. They don't experience much of anything. At least that's what they thought. That's why I do stuff alone. Later, Sunny Bunny, out the Spirit Bunny, I feel you. captured something truly chilling. Yeah, that's, that's why I got rid of my whole last team. Getting into Chavez and Reedy. Them niggas was all un ungrateful people. I got tired of it. What the hell is that? What's going on? Again, thank you for the donation, Killer256. While exploring, the group discovers a strange chalice just sitting in the middle of the floor in one of the decaying rooms. They film the bizarre out of place artifact and then decide to move on. But as they leave the room, the cameraman lowers his camera before turning it off. His camera, now upside down, accidentally catches the chalice mysteriously catching fire. The team's backs are turned as they leave the room and they don't even notice the flames. Soon after, the group decides to call it a night and just head home. But that's not all that the Inquieto TV team captured at the abandoned brick factory. Their YouTube viewers pointed out something else that they missed during their investigation. On the house at three mil. Creepy. Yo! Alma mi hai fatto prendere un colpo. Oddio. <laughs> it's a witch! Is that a shaver? Oh, phasmophobia equipment! A dark, mist-like figure appears at the end of the hallway, moving from left to right before disappearing into thin air. Moments later, the figure briefly materializes again in the same hall. The Inquieto TV team are shocked by what they captured and say that they didn't notice anything unusual at the time. So, is this mysterious apparition the ghost of one of the workers who disappeared long ago? I leave it up to you. And just for all of you who stuck around till the end of this video, here's a spooky extra clip. Oh, now, hell this video no. didn't make it into the top 10 because, well, it's a little too good, if you know what I mean. But it's one of the creepiest Japanese ghost videos I've ever seen. Oh, hell no. Put me into the life of the shower.
Yo, did y'all just see that? Damn, she bad, nigga. No, 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 sorry, but. <laughs> oh my god! Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the What the fuck was that? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like, and don't subscribe. Yeah, I mean, this is your boy Blasphemous HD Twisms.